Yeah, g'day folks, Brendan here with the Scoot now with a physical install on a Joya S Series scooter known in Australia here as a Bolson Commando. Um, I've already taken the front cover off this here to access the controller, and inside is the Julep connector, the black round connector that connects the uh, controller, the silver box there inside, up to the stem to the display. And so once you've um, just located that cable and you just pull it apart as, as such, holding it. You know, two fingers, oh, thumb and finger on each side, firmly, just pull that apart. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to pop our tracker in, probably in the front here, up against the plastic cover. So it'll sit just beside there and it'll get a nice signal as it comes out through the plastic. Face side up that white sticker there is where the, uh, the antennas are going to come through. And um, we're going to interconnect the tracker in to one of the e-scoot now controller specific harnesses there which is a 48 volt relay system 48 volt scooters um, although you can do 60 scooters as well etc with them uh, so this is just a prototype uh, that we've put together which is pretty straightforward um, so with these Julet e-bike connectors just like you do have on your say your handlebars for your brakes etc uh, you're just lining up the um, the marker pin marker that's uh, on the outside of the connector uh, and also if you want just have a look inside you'll see there's a little um, alignment notch inside physically to uh, to help line it up so I'm just gonna make sure I've got this uh, lined up appropriately Right, so just push that in. You shouldn't have to push incredibly hard because um, if you do, you could uh, be not aligning the pin. So just go easy with it as you put it in. I've put a little bit of uh, silver paint or liquid paper, if you wish, to help mark and see where those external alignment connectors are. But uh, that's us in there now. So we're basically interconnected between the controller and the display on this black wire with the Julet connectors into our harness there with our relay for immobilisation. And then as you connect your uh, GPS tracker up, as you plug it in, you'll hear a little spark uh, as it takes the power of the inrush current. And of course, indicator lights inside there where you see tray is to let you know that we're up and running. So the reassembly then is just a simple matter of making sure you've got everything reasonably comfortably secured, not too much pressure or stress on any of the cables and um, pop it in so that it's sitting in there comfortably. Now with this one, I'm just going to, I'm actually just going to sit it in there and just let the pressure of the, uh, of the various spaghetti wiring that you have inside a deck um, sit it there comfortably. And then, a simple matter then of um, making sure that that's all clear. There's a little Phillips screw that comes up through here. Just make sure that the screw hole is clear of any wiring because when you like screw your cover on, you don't want to pull a pointy sharp screw through any wiring. So just a little bit of pressure on that, sit that in there, and then reassembly is the same reverse procedure as you disassembly. So just give you a chance to see how you would access it. Just a single screw, short Phillips pointy screw at the bottom. In the hole, a couple of turns, so you're on the thread, and then keep the pressure up on it so nothing gets stripped too much. Nice in there, and that uh, secures it. And then your other two screws, which are your two longer screws, uh, which are the ones that are going through the front of the side uh, lamp. I'll just come around here and pop 
pop that one in on that side and uh, if you wanted to you could probably help some of the waterproofing that's in there with a bit of liquid electrical tape or silicon whatever your preferred poison is um, just to help keep the waterproofing on but I'm not going to do it this one just to because if we put it in together just uh, I'm sure we're all good we might even use a bigger Phillips head for that one so that we can drive it home so that's uh, us in there all together and we might just bring it down off the bench and you can see now that you've got um, our power coming through and um, we're all ready to go. I'll just show you how the immobiliser works in the, in the software as such. You can see it's thrown up there and there at this stage which indicates it's currently immobilised. So let's go to the software now and um, disable the immobiliser, bring it up.